by Disability Rights UK, an organisation run by and for disabled people who responded to the Chancellor's plans by saying, for the past few months, there has been a seemingly relentless attack on vulnerable, long-term sick and disabled people on benefits. For disabled and vulnerable people, benefits are essential to survive financially. The fact is that for many people, benefits are their sole income because work is not an option. For those who could and want to work, vague threats around the removal of benefits, free prescriptions and sanctions, if not accepting the first job offered, are not helping. In fact, they are causing those already in the throes of long-term health and, long, and long, lifelong disability to suffer worsening health issues. Madam Deputy Speaker, the benefits system is the fault here, <coughs> not the recipient. The United Nations Special Rapporteur on Poverty and Human Rights said in 2018 that the UK benefits system could be branded cruel and inhuman yeah. and called cuts to the welfare system ideological and tragic. Yeah. Madam Deputy Speaker, a famous quote from Gandhi comes to mind here. He said, the true measure of any society can be found in how it treats its most vulnerable members. Yeah. But tragically, once again, the government does not come close to measuring up. Yeah. Once again, we see them use the benefit system to target and humiliate the country's most vulnerable people. Last week, the political editor of the Liverpool Echo, Liam Thorpe, wrote, The images of the emaciated body of Six Stone Stephen Smith, a desperately unwell man who was denied vital benefits before his tragic death, left an indelible mark on my mind and the minds of many others. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stephen was one of the many victims of a cruel, government-led culture that targets the vulnerable and punishes those in our society who need support. Yeah. Madam Deputy Speaker, a Six Stone Stephen won his tribunal with the help of the much-missed Terry Craven against the Department for Work and Pensions and their decisions to declare him fit for work and deny him vital benefits. Mm. Stephen was a victim of a cruel welfare system. Mm. And as the government plans its latest attack on claimants, they show they have learned absolutely nothing from his tragic death.